Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Mary Beth and Miss Jerry coming to you from St. Patrick's Atrium with our next lesson on the parables. If you remember, we are now in the season of Lent, which is why you see a lot of purple right now. We are preparing for the Feast of Easter. And during this time, we're going to talk to you about parables. And if you remember, parables are lessons that Jesus taught the people so that they would learn some very special things about the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven was very important to Jesus. That's why he did so many different parables so that people would really understand how important it was to him. Today, we're going to talk about the kingdom of heaven and the parable of the grain of wheat. And I'm going to read something to you first. And then we're going to look at what this could mean for us. Okay. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. We look at this picture, we can see the tiny seed and how it grows in the ground. Okay. Here on my table, I also have some full grown grains of wheat. And inside the wheat are the tiny seeds that started its growth. Here is what they look like when they were in the ground and they were just tiny seeds. So let's think about this. What would happen if the grain of wheat just stopped right here and nothing else ever happened? But what happens if the grain of wheat grows and then dies and opens its pods and drops its seeds again. And those seeds can be put to work to grow something new. What could Jesus want us to learn about the kingdom of heaven and growing seeds? Why is it so important that something might live and then die but yet still be able to bring new life to continue forward. Maybe you want to think about this. Maybe you want to write the words. We will send you a copy of this and you can color it. Maybe even you want to plant some seeds of your own at home in a pot and watch them grow and see what happens to the seeds when they finally grow into a big plant. I hope we have given you some things to think about, about the kingdom of God and why it's so important that the kingdom of God keeps growing. Thank you, boys and girls. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.